after two weeks of building, constructing, sanding, taking apart, rebuilding, all of that, it's done. <laughs> and I'm very proud. It took a lot of work, but it's done. So, there she is in all of her glory. We've got the shelves up top on both sides. And then I have the drawer system here. So this side will open up and this will become a countertop. So the idea with this tabletop was, so that way I could use it to cook, I could also eat here. So I do have this little folding chair here that I could prop up and sit at. And then also this lifts up and that is where all my clothes are. So that's the one drawer. And then this is the other one. So this is all of my food, camp stuff. I just have this sweatshirt in here for right now. But yeah, so I have all my cooking supplies, a cup, my bowl is actually inside with these. And then I just have, you know, my spices and some food. Just prop that back there. And that goes in. And then I have these two little compartments here on either side. So this one I'm gonna be using to store all of my window shade covers. And then this one is just some shoes. And then I gotta find a better place for this, but for right now, that's okay. So now I wanna go in and talk about these shelves for a minute because I am very, very proud of how they turned out and kind of like, the story of them. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right, so these shelves are actually bolted, bolted in um, on the, back here, there is this little screw that is nailed to the frame of the car. So when I was building this, I didn't want to ruin the sides of my vehicle. So I had intended on originally hanging these or creating some type of shelf for them to sit on top of. But if anyone has a fourth gen forerunner that comes with that like sliding trunk cover, it's like this thing. That, right there, that guy. Well, either one of those sides, there's these little holes. They kind of look like this. Uh, this is where the end of the shade goes, but it kind of looks like this, and there was already a screw hole there. So, uh, my dad and I got longer nails. I believe they were three inch nails. Yes, yeah, so they're about like this. Let me see if you can see this on the other side. No, it is totally screwed in there. Maybe this side you can see it. Yeah, so if you see, there's like a little nail there. So that is actually drilled in to that little hole, which is keeping it on. And they're pretty, pretty sturdy. Um, I thought about adding some Velcro under here so that way they would be on there. But the whole idea was I wanted them to look like they were floating. And I think this does the trick. So I have two on either side and they're both just bolted in on that same spot. And like I said, they're pretty sturdy. So I don't foresee them falling out or having any issues. Um, yeah, at least in the near foreseeable future, I think they'll all be good. And then there is like, some little notches um a side project of mine will be to add some wood filler here but um yeah there 
They're the perfect size for all my books. And then the string to keep things from falling. And these are just tiny little eyelets that I screwed in and then I just, you know, wrap some twine around there. And then I also have some twinkle lights, like the little fairy lights that I put in. These were really awful to wrap around, but it's fine. Everything's fine. And, um, let me crawl out of here. And I'll show you the other side. So this will be the side that has all of my jackets, extra stuff in here. And then I figured I'd just keep my towel, some vitamins in there. And then these are my, where my window shades are going to live. That one's for the front. This one's for the side. And then we walk around. And then I have, you know, my tripod down below, um, a miscellaneous box, some design stuff, and then all my shoes on this side. And then also my um, toiletries box will be right here. And more window shade covers. My little camp pillow actually matches with the interior. So that's really exciting. I am very proud. I'm so glad it's done. Installing the hexagons was probably my least favorite part. I didn't even get any film of me installing them or anything because I was so frustrated trying to find that tiny little screw hole and just like jamming it around and moving it around to try and get it to stick was just awful. But um, yeah, the little mini camper is totally done. And um, I just need to now put in my bed and it'll all be good to go. And um, I also tied it down. So on either side, there's these little hooks. So there's one here, one on that side, and then one down on that side and one down there. And this is just uh, some terrapin cord. That looks like it's about to bust. Um, yeah, this is just terrapin cord. Um, I realized with the amount of weight that's inside of these, when I pulled both of these out, uh, it got top heavy and kind of like fell. So I decided to secure it down. And with my mattress on top, you won't even be able to notice it. I mean, I don't really think it'll make that much of a difference at all. But yeah, there she is, the little camper.